I'm going to be cooking up a batch of breakfast cookies today, all so that I can show off this Bake It Fun silicone baking mat. It's not this whole setup, just this here transparent piece. And then I've laid it on just a regular old baking sheet. Alrighty, so next, let's bake the cookies. Or rather, make them so we can bake them. Okay, so this is kind of a bizarre angle, but we'll see how it works. First, in the large bowl, we are going to mix the wet ingredients, which are, for this, banana, peanut butter, honey and agave, and some vanilla. Now, I totally forgot I was doing this recipe, so my banana is a thawed one that I got from the freezer. So, it looks kind of tragic, but it'll serve its purpose. Otherwise, a ripened one off of the, you know, vine would be preferable, I imagine. It says about recipe calls for about one of those guys. Then we're going to go in with a half a cup of some peanut butter. Or some non-nut butter, as the first recipe I am following. Alrighty. Then, a quarter of a cup of part agave and part honey. I like to mix the two because I like both of the flavors. And this way we lose less honey, which is more expensive than the agave, I'm pretty sure, but mainly I just do it because I like both the flavors. Alrighty, dump that on in. And then lastly, for the wet ingredients, you can add some vanilla. The recipe I'm following calls for two teaspoons. Alrighty, then I'm gonna mix all those up and then we will move on to the dry ingredients. Alrighty, and there's the wet ingredients all blended together. We're gonna set those aside. Alrighty, now on to our dry ingredients. We have some gluten-free flour, cinnamon and baking soda, some ground flax. I actually bought this in bulk at the store and ground it up in our little coffee grinder, a quarter of a cup of protein powder or milk powder if you'd prefer, and a cup of rolled oats. So, voila, in they all go. Then we're going to give this a mix and then add it to the wet ingredients. Alrighty, so there is our mixed dry ingredients and now we're going to add this into the wet ingredients. Alrighty. In it goes. Sorry about the terrible angle, you're not going to be able to see a whole lot here, but first cooking. All right, then we want to blend these together. All righty. And then, if it's a little thick, you can add some water because we're also adding some dried cranberries. And I've also thought about adding maybe some nuts or some seeds, so next time I'm gonna try it with perhaps some sunflower seeds. And now, because I've just added all that, I'm thinking I'm gonna need a splash of water but I don't really want to do that yet. Oh yeah, we're gonna need it, okay. All right, so there is our finished dough, looking all doughy. Then you're gonna take a quarter of a cup scoop and plop it onto the uh, baking sheet. Alrighty, so here is my Bake It Fun baking mat. So for your first time use, you definitely want to spray it down with some sort of oil to season it. 
I've already used it a couple times, but it makes me feel better just to put a little oil. And then I just have been rubbing it around because I don't really need that much because they don't stick. That's the point. But I'm trying to keep this nice. It's also very easy to clean. You can just run it under the water and scrub it off if there is anything left. I, last time I baked these cookies on this mat, I didn't have anything left. All right, so now we're going to heap the cookies into about yay much, possibly less. Last time my cookies got a little big. And then we're just gonna lay them out here. Now this mat is designed more for the placement it has uh, for smaller cookies, so I'm gonna kind of line mine up more three for a row rather than four, because these cookies do get bigger. All right, now the one complaint I have is that I wish it were slightly bigger, because as you can see, the width of this, I could put more cookies, but I'm not really comfortable putting more than six on here, knowing how big they do expand. So there's that, and then I'm gonna go get a spatula with some water on the back so that it doesn't do this to the spatula to press down the cookies, and then in the oven, they will go. All right, last clip before they go into the oven. Here they are. I actually found that wetting my hands and flattening them worked better than a spatula like last time. So there we have it. And in the oven they go for about 15 minutes. Here's a little five minutes in peekaboo. There they are, cooking up a storm in there. All right, let's stop letting the heat out. All right, so here they are, fresh out of the oven. Now one thing I didn't mention before that I should mention, uh, when using this silicone mat, the cookies and or whatever you put on them will definitely cook a little bit faster. This is how cooked mine are, because I kind of forgot that rule, and uh, that was more in the middle of the recommended times for if you're using something like this. So if that's, you know, what you're going for, that's fine, but that's a little more done than I wanted, but they'll still be delicious, and there we have it. Hope you enjoyed.